let us stop what we are doing for a minute and take the time to discuss something very strange for a second. The topic of famous insects. There is Flick from A Bug's Life, Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio, The Beatles, those cute little cockroaches from Joe's apartment, and of course, the most famous of them all, this man right here. Michael Peter Belzari, better known by his stage name Flea, is a dynamic and influential musician recognized for his exceptional bass playing and vibrant stage presence as a founding member of the iconic band The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Born on October 16, 1962, Flea's musical journey has been characterized by a fusion of punk, funk, and rock, which has not only redefined the role of the bass guitarist in modern music, but has also contributed to the band's distinctive sound and global success. Flea's distinctive playing style, marked by his energetic slap and pop techniques, intricate bass lines, and fearless experimentation, has helped shape the Red Hot Chili Peppers' pioneering sound over the decades. Beyond his mastery of the bass, Flea is also a multi-talented artist, contributing vocals, trumpet, and even piano to the band's repertoire, showcasing his versatility and creative spirit. The Red Hot Chili Peppers rise to fame in the 1980s and subsequent albums like Blood Sugar, Sex Magic, Californication, and By The Way solidified their status as one of the most endearing and successful bands in rock history. Flea's electrifying stage presence characterized by his acrobatic performances and boundless energy has been a cornerstone of the band's live shows, captivating audiences worldwide. Flea's impact extends beyond the music world as well. He is an advocate for environmental and social causes and has been involved in various philanthropic efforts. As a musician, performer, and activist, Flea's contributions have left an indelible mark on the music industry and popular culture, cementing his legacy as a key figure in the evolution of rock and an inspiration to generations of musicians and fans alike. As of 2023, Flea has an estimated net worth of $160 million. In this episode, we feature a 7,334-square-foot compound located in the one and only zip code of 90210, Beverly Hills. Welcome to the channel where we look into the past and present homes of our favorite rock stars. This is Rockstar Homes. Sold by Josh and Matt Altman of Million Dollar Listing fame to flee for $14 million back in December 2021, this seven-bedroom, eight-bathroom, 7,334-square-foot compound sits on a 1.38-acre lot located on the world-famous Mulholland Drive in Beverly Hills, California. Out of sight from the street, the home sits at the end of a long, lush, gated driveway where you will be greeted by a detached four-car garage. Once inside the multi-level home, you will find a spacious living room, a fully stocked library, an open-planned kitchen and dining room, a state-of-the-art Bel Air Circuit movie theater with a 15-foot screen complete with soda machine, and a concrete tub right next to a huge window to soak in the bathtub while soaking in the views. The master suite can be found on the third floor, which leads out to its own private deck, as well as a gym, steam shower, and sauna. The home was built in 1948 and renovated in the early 2000s by LA architect Alex Istabulo. Outside the home, you will find plenty to see and do with more rooftop decks, a putting green, an outdoor kitchen and bar, a cozy fireplace, and to splash it all off, a leaf-shaped swimming pool. How cool is that? A house of this caliber, and including this price tag, comes with a pretty elite list of people in the neighborhood. Warren Beatty might be knocking on your door asking to borrow some milk, or you could hear Lana Del Rey singing while you're hanging out the washing. Directly across the street is the one and only legend himself, Jack Nicholson. Also on the property, you will find an outdoor cabin and a trio of tree houses that are connected by a suspension bridge. And if that wasn't enough, just to add to the cool factor of the property, the previous owner, before Flea, was former Paramount Pictures chief Adam Goodman, and before him was Gabor Supo, who was the animator behind legendary cartoon series like The Rugrats and Ah! Real Monsters. So tell us, watchers, which rock star's house would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you stay notified every time we post new content. Until next time, take care.